Okay, for this Wireshark session, uh, we're going to look into the ICMP, all right, uh, but probably you are already using it, but you are not aware of it. The ICMP is uh, used every time you do a ping, all right, particularly for uh, students that do a lot of gaming, you probably will use ping to check the speed of the connection as well as whether the host is up or not. So what I have here on my screen right now is I already have my Wireshark launch and I have my command prompt, All right, but I haven't run it yet. So I'm going to ping uh, later on, but let me explain what I'm going to do first, okay? Because I need to do it very quickly. I am going to run Wireshark, come to my command prompt, do a ping. Once the ping is completed, I will come back to Wireshark and I will stop the packet capture. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, I'm going to use my wireless network. Okay, start, run the ping. Ping completed, stop the capture. Okay, the reason why I do this is so that I do not get so many packet at the same time. All right, so now let's go into Wireshark itself. And because I do it so quickly, I only have 21 packet. All right. Uh, not all of it is basically uh, associated with the uh, ICMP. All right. So over here, you can see the standard DNS all right, that we covered in the other videos all right, because they can't understand what is castlearning.org. So it has to be gone through a DNS to be converted to IP address. Now, once it has done, this is a segment where we see the actual ping. All right, uh, it's easy to see here because I don't have so many packets. If you do have a lot of packets, all right, let's say you are actively intercepting, uh, capturing all the packets in the network for hours and you want to identify uh, searching for ICMP could be a bit tricky so you can actually use the filter so if you do ICMP you actually will see two of them one is the ICMP and one is the ICMP version 6 uh, I am running on version 6 already my, my, I'm using the IPv6 uh, that's why you see all the address that uh, for the source and destination I actually have the colon all right so i'll be using the 6 version sorry version 6 and if i click apply i would only see the icmp version 6 of course if you are still using version 4 then of course you just use the filter to icmp all right now of course you can see the ping you can see all this here is a ping but notice what happened when you do a ping on window, okay, you are sending a request. It reach the host or the destination. In this case, the destination is uh, the last digit is 308. And the destination, which is 308, actually send the result back to you, which is the echo of the ping reply. Right. So you can actually see this ping request, the reply is actually at packet 15, see, packet 15. And packet 15 is actually a request, a reply to the request of packet 14. And this actually goes on, you see, another request, another reply another request, another reply, another request, and another reply. All right, 
see this and of course if you look into the request and the reply right, you can see that it is actually ICMP you can see the ICMP protocol version 6 you can see that it is a request right of course the content is not much uh, of not much of interest right? but the most common of course is the code in this case is actually a code zero right? and the reply is also a code zero because there is nothing going on there is no weird situation going on and of course there is a response time right? to tell you how long it actually take to respond right, to this particular uh, request and after getting a number of responses okay with the time the response time you can actually calculate the maximum the minimum as well as the average but right? that's how uh, Microsoft Windows actually does the calculation itself okay now a key note to think about or, or to take note about is that certain firewall actually block ICMP all right so if you send a ICMP packet and it go through this firewall and the firewall actually block or drop the ICMP packet the server on the other end would not receive the request because the firewall has already blocked it, blocked it and in that particular case basically the server would not reply even though the server is up and running but the server will not reply your ping or your ICMP packet because it did not receive the request all right so be a bit careful when you are using ping so just because you don't get any response from a ping does not necessarily means that that host is actually down it could be blocked by the uh, firewall itself 